tension. Bangaloreans could be staring at a major water crisis as a recent study has shown that the region's groundwater table might be sucked dry soon. With a surge in real estate activity, developers have no choice but to implement self-sufficient methods of water management. At a time when farmers in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu are battling over Kaveri water sharing to save their crops, residents in Bangalore too could find themselves fighting for water very soon. According to a recent report by the Department of Mines and Geology, over 2.4 million people in Bangalore could face severe water shortage in the near future. The current scenario in Bangalore, according to a local report, shows demand for water is calculated at 140 litres per day per person and for the current population, the requirement works out to be 1,342 million litres per day. Current capacity from the Kaveri and Arkavati river sources is 975 million litres per day. A big factor is this. Conveyance and other losses reduces effective supply by 30% to 682 million litres per day. In addition, total supply from groundwater sources is estimated at 341 million litres per day. Therefore, shortage works out to be 319 million litres per day. Bangalore as such, uh, most parts of Bangalore is, is in almost in a drought-like situation. Uh, therefore, not only us, but I think going forward, every developer will have to you know, use these uh, uh, focus on sustainability initiatives uh, to make sure you, you conserve water and uh, use it well. Experts say the unhealthy growth in Bangalore's real estate market is really to blame for the current water crisis. From over-exploitation of groundwater to the shrinking of rivers that supply water due to encroachments, the real estate industry really has a lot to answer for than to question the non-availability of water. But there are a few small steps being made by developers to address the situation. Bangalore-based Shoba Developers has created the largest rainwater harvesting facility at its gated community project Shoba Lifestyle. With a capacity of over 15 million litres, it is self-sustaining for over eight months for all residents. Today, Bangalore has a potential of receiving 3,000 MLD of rainwater. So if we think of charging even 50% out of it, 1,500 MLD of Sustained water can be drawn from groundwater alone in Bangalore. In Shoba Lifestyle, we have done both terrace as well as surface one runoff. We store it. We have a huge infrastructure of rainwater harvesting tank. The Bangalore Water Supply Board did try to encourage rainwater harvesting by making it mandatory from November 2009 for all properties measuring 1,200 square feet and above. But very few builders actually implemented this in their projects and offered this only in premium properties as an amenity. But Bangalore-based Value and Budget Housing Corporation is taking water conservation very seriously and has used satellite-based hydrogeological study to optimize the number and location of bore wells inside the project. Besides rainwater harvesting, the homes in this project use low-flow water fixtures for the showers, wash basin and kitchen sink taps to help conserve water. We save almost up to about 35% of what we would have otherwise used. I mean, just to give you an example, at Vaibhava, uh, that is the Bangalore, name of the Bangalore project, uh, we would use about 1,270 KLD per day. So 35% of that is basically being saved today. With Bangalore showing the fastest rate of growth in terms of population, the pressure on the city's infrastructure is only expected to grow. And an impending water crisis should be an ideal wake-up call for developers to walk the talk about their projects really caring for the environment. In Bangalore, Balakrishnan, NDTV, Profit. Almost every one out of the two questions we get for buying a property in Bangalore comes with a qualifier. Please recommend projects with good water availability. We have with us P.S. Jaykumar, Managing Director of VBHC. Sir, experts are blaming developers for the water problem. What's your take on it? I think in some measures these are legacy issues. When we started initially all the constructions, you know, going back into time, uh, one did not plan for it. So I think as you look at the newer projects, uh, you know, there is a better approach to water management, both in terms of the selection of the project and the way the projects are designed. So I think, uh, I think that's the issue. Uh, 
So, we have to continue to keep the focus on reducing freshwater consumption through reuse of water, uh, dual plumbing if possible, as much as possible, treatment of water and so on. So, incrementally we are able to address the issue, but with the legacy stock that is there, uh, you have the problem. And then making the changes to those apartment and recreating things is quite difficult. Mr. Hmm. So Jaikumar, how much of an incremental effort is there from developers to really tackle this issue? Because you know, I have heard from very reliable sources that something as simple as rainwater harvesting is also not done with absolutely the right intention, it is more a lip service. Well, like in every other, in, like in every other industries there are people who comply on one hand and people who do not comply on the other hand. Uh, but I would say on the balance, uh, there is a greater degree of recognition around the need to manage water because as you said, consumers are asking how are you going to deal with the water issue. So I think as the, as the consumer starts demanding it, you don't have much of a choice, even those who do not want to, to adopt good measures uh, to manage the problem. Uh, so I think, I think in, a, in a trending sense, I think the, the direction is good. Uh, that's what I would say. If you take our project, for example, we are able to get nearly 40 to 45 percent savings on freshwater usage through taking good measures like, you know, low, uh, low tap fixtures, you know, recycling of water, proper hydrological satellite lead base for determining bore well and so on. So I think we have got to be a little bit optimistic on it and I think it, that would happen. Okay. But you still deal with uh, the legacy issue. Is there issue. anything on the policy front, Mr. Jaikumar, that you would expect the government to support you in? So, I, and I, that's... Uh, yeah, sorry. I would ahead. think the government has to do what it should do, which is to, which is to build the pipelines, you know, as we were discussing in the program before, the investments going in the right way, so freshwater consumption is, is increased. But what I worry about is any kind of additional regulation that comes in, and then the whole question of monitoring it, managing it, approving it, and so on, and you get into a big, uh, you know, you could get into a big measurement kind of process. Uh, so, if, if anything more is to be done, I would say uh, third party verification processes would work, and you could put in better standards with respect to the way water management must be done, but giving that back to the government to validate measure would create more problems and solutions. Okay, uh, just final question then. Uh, you know, in terms of the actual caution that the experts bring in this story that we just uh, played out, how grim is the situation or do you think that it's probably not as grim? Uh, well, as I said, you know, the, the reality is that there is a significant rural to urban migration. There is significant pressure coming around, not only in Bangalore, but everywhere else. And, uh, and that's, that's the refactor. And so we have to think big and plan well. And this problem that you see in Bangalore could very well replicate in many other, many other locations unless the planning process in the first instance is thought through carefully. And so I would, I would say that you cannot prevent the urbanization to happen. In fact, you want it to happen. So we have to step up the policy measures in terms of infrastructure of water, management of water. There's also good solutions around fresh water usage and minimizing fresh water usage. All right. Mr. Jaikumar, thank you very much for making the time to come to our studios. It is an important question which comes with every query we take on the Bangalore market or maybe one out of two, I said, not every. Some people do know that developers will resolve. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.